from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Cha with this 10 News update. Today, the San Diego City Council putting its final stamp on some new rules to help prevent dockless scooter crashes in San Diego. Those new rules include dropping the speed limit from 15 to 8 miles per hour on boardwalks and 3 miles per hour in other high traffic areas, creating designated scooter corrals so they don't congest sidewalks, and the companies would also be required to pay a permit fee of just over $5,000 every six months. Today, Mayor Faulkner announcing $6.7 million in additions to his budget proposal for 2020. Almost half a million of that would be set aside to add new jobs to help with homeless programs in San Diego. The rest of the money would be put toward dockless scooter enforcement, brush management and graffiti cleanup. A big celebration this morning for Santana High School in Santee. The school held a ribbon cutting ceremony for their new event center and PE building today. The original facility was built in the 1960s. It was torn down to make room for a state of the art center, which includes new showers, locker rooms, a dance classroom and a wrestling room. There's also a trainer's room to handle sports related injuries and a Hall of Fame walkway where memorabilia and awards are being displayed. Megan. Tell us what we got to look forward to. <laughs> Today is going to be a gorgeous one. We're going to gradually see clearing skies. Temperatures will be the warmest of the week today. Temperatures mostly in the 70s across the county. A few 80s inland near 90, or excuse me, near 100 in our deserts. We'll see those marine layer clouds roll back in late to, uh, tonight into tomorrow. And expecting to see a slower and clearing tomorrow. Potentially only partial clearing for some coastal areas tomorrow. And then much cooler on Thursday with scattered showers moving in. We'll see mid 60s then not only at the coast, but also for our inland neighborhoods. Another chance for showers rolling in by Sunday and potentially more into next week. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.